G'day and welcome to episode 50 of the Guy Who Sews podcast. My name is Sean and this is my weekly podcast where I share my quilting adventures. I'd like to welcome both new and returning viewers to the channel, but if you are new to this, I'd love it if you take just a few moments so we all know we have a new friend. Where possible, any products, channels, or patterns that I mention, I'll put in the description below, but if you need additional assistance or have questions, please reach out. I'm always more than happy to help. But let's go ahead and get started with my works in progress. The first one I'd like to talk about is what I've been calling my blue and grey quilt. It is a mixture of both patchwork and snowball blocks, and it's turned out really, really nicely. It is a gift for a friend of ours who is a um, Ravenclaw fan, and I am super excited with how nicely this is turning out. Let me shake it a bit more. So it's got the blue, the grey, and there's got two different prints on there as well. And we've done nine out of the eleven rows, so we just have two more of them to go, and then we'll get that done. The goal is to have this all finished, bound, quilted, and to the recipient by Friday. We'll see if that happens or not. The other one I want to show you is the Mythical Dachshunds, and I've been working on that one for a while. And let me just grab one of the other blocks as an example. Oops. So, as a reminder, this is one of the blocks we've been doing. And I did not have the time this week with Vlogmas and everything else to um, cut out the fabric for another block um, with the dogs. But this is one of the um, extra blocks they're putting into the quilt. And this is looking really cool. So this is what I did. It's a crown and a couple of diamonds, or rubies I guess they are. And this is really, really cool. I, I really like, like the effect that this has done. So that is my works in progress. So now we'll go ahead and move on to my week in review. And for anyone that's new, this is just a series of clips that I take during the week. Mostly of me sewing. I also include some of our dogs because they're very popular on the channel. I hope you enjoy. Well, I hope you enjoyed the Week in Review segment. Last week, I asked everybody what their favorite part of the quilting process was. A lot of you said binding, the finishing part of it, the selecting of the fabrics was a very popular answer. Sadly, nobody said basting, because if you did, I was going to send all my quilts to you. So maybe it's best that you didn't do that. So this week, I was curious to see, um, when are you more productive sewing? Are you a morning person and get everything done? in the morning or are you more productive sewing wise in the evening let me know which one you are I'm more of a morning person I tend to get more done um, while everyone's still asleep so now it's time to talk about my goals I like to set myself goals each week not necessarily that I have to meet them this gives me some inspiration and gives me basically a goal to work towards so this week I'd like to get this blue and gray done if at all possible I'd also like to get some more done on the Mythical Darksons, which is, yeah, this is one of the other blocks I have done previously. And I'd also like to get more work done on the Somber Quilt. Now, whether I get it all done or not, only time will tell, but I always do like to see, you know, if I can get close to those goals each week. Let me know what your goals are. So in case you missed it, I've been doing Vlogmas this year, which is where I post a daily video. They're short, three to five minutes, and they have been a lot of fun, and I've just loved the interaction with everybody. Um, I'm also doing on that, as part of this, what I've been calling the Battle of the Fabrics, which is where I go through my stash every day and pick out a new fabric. And every third day, we are now picking our favorite out of those three. And we're going to have a little tournament when this is all over, starting on the 25th. So if you haven't seen that, go over there, check it out. It's a lot of fun. And then yesterday, I had my Saturday morning breakfast with the guy who sews live. And I had my special guest, Dawn, from My Court Projects. 
and it was great hanging out with her. She has a wealth of information, and it was just really, really cool to have her join me as well. So if you missed that, go check out the replay. It's also a lot of fun. So upcoming videos, Vlogmas will continue through the 24th, so I'll be doing that every day this week. It's just more behind the scenes of what I get up to during my normal life outside of the quilting world, but I also include quilting as well, so definitely check those out. Everyone's enjoying them so far, and I'm so glad of that. And then this Saturday morning, I'll have my break with the guy who sews live at 8 a.m. Eastern as usual, and I'm going to have my special guest, Martha from Martha's Creative Life. We're actually doing a collab together on her channel where we're unboxing the cotton cuts, batiks, and cotton back quarters each day, and that's a lot of fun, so definitely go check that out. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really fun to have her come and hang out with me for an hour or so, and we're just going to sew some whips, so definitely join us for that if you can. So as I mentioned in the introduction, this is episode 50, which is a huge milestone for me. I started this journey back in 2021 in November, and I was a scared, petrified, introverted little gentleman, and I'm still introverted, but I'm not quite as shy in front of the camera as I once was. The first one, first quilt I think I made on my podcast was this one here, the Rhapsody, and I love this one. This was a kit that I bought for my sister and I, and she has one as well, and that was fun to share that journey with you, and I've done many quilts in between, and I think the last one I sh finished a quilt top on that I showed you was the Scrappy Diamond, and there's been, like I said, many, many in between, so if you haven't seen those episodes, definitely check those out, but I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that has, you know, clicked, liked, subscribed, recommended me in a chat, or recommended to their quilting friends. I just love this community and everything that you've done for me and everybody else. And I also just want to put out a special thank you to my friends Stephanie Stitches and So Becca, because you two saw me at the very beginning when I had, you know, eight, ten subscribers and saw me in the chats and communicating and everything else. And they, you know, put out some big shout outs to me. And that really got it going for me. I hit a 1,000 subscribers in nine months, which I think is absolutely amazing. When I started this journey, I thought, you know, I might get 50. I might get 100 if I'm lucky. I never, ever dreamed of getting to where I am today. So thank you to everybody that has joined me along this journey, whether it's been for one day or a year. It means the absolute world to me because without you, I wouldn't be here doing this. So thank you once again. Well, thank you for joining me on today's podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely leave a comment, like, tell your friends, and we'll see you t this evening for my next Vlogmas post, and then again throughout the week. Definitely check out Martha's videos as well, and all of my friends are doing Vlogmas. There's so many that I can't name them all, but yeah, there's so much content right out there now that you can watch, and it's so much fun, so check them out. Have a great day, happy sewing, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.